Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we've been thrifting. We tell you what we paid for and what we're going to sell it for. This week is half Goodwill Bins yep. and half Goodwill and Desert Industries thrift store. And I actually think it is a little bit high end. I don't know what you titled this, but there's a lot of silver. I titled and a lot it of Amazing Cottage haul, Thrift Hall. It's amazing. Anyways, <laughs> it's really cool stuff. We're excited to show you. Um, and if you want to shop along, you can just go to jamierayvintage.com and click thrift finds and thrift flips. Everything's listed. And Caitlin is on here as always answering questions and dropping links. Let's get started. Okay. I'm going to show you this clock before I forget it. It's down here. We found this at the Deseret Industries. It's, it's handmade. This isn't a perfect circle, which makes me love it more. I am going to redo the face on here and it was five. No. $3. I could not pass it for $3. It's a big clock. The drawer is false drawer, but it looks cool. And it's going to be $39.95 once we paint it, replace the face. Yeah, the face is not my favorite. All right, next up, we have these two canisters. They're kind of French style. They were $2.99 each, and I'm selling for $19.95. Um, I debated back and forth whether or not to like paint this part um, black. But ultimately, I decided that I kind of like the wood look. It's faux wood, but I love the toile. I love the French words. They're really cute. And they're $19.95 each. And there's two. I'll put this over here for you. Um, next up, this was kind of fun. I found a whole bag of cookie cutters, but I just wanted the farm animals. They're vintage Wilton pink. And there's like a cow, a chicken, two sheep. So I think originally it probably was two sets, um, a duck and a pig. And they're $9.95 each. And I talked to the manager because it was like a bunch of mixed cookie cutters. And he said I could buy just these for a dollar. Nice. Sometimes they want you to buy the whole bag. But I was like, listen, I only want these ones. And only the pink nice. ones. Only the pink farm animals. Look how cute that sheep is. So $9.95 for these. All right. This is... Oh, I can't read that very well. It's a bean pot. <laughs> $22.95. It's not precious. So it's old. Lillian Vernon, which Lillian so it could Vernon. be like 80s or 90s, but it's really cute. And it's just like a simple style stoneware bean pot. Hey, um, Sherry. You peeled the stick. Oh, there the price tag is $3. It was three bucks. And it's got like sk sticky kitchen fur on it. It's going to need a super good scrub. This was $2. And I love the crackle art. I don't know. It looks hand painted to me. And it's kind of chippy, and I love the little bun feet. And we're selling it for $19.95. Isn't that cute? Just kind of moody and French country. Do you think that's hand painted? Or do you think that's. You just... guys, we went to a birthday party today and played at a park for two hours. We're sunburned. You want to see my tan line? It was line? 74 degrees today, and I'm burned a little. Show them your tan line. Uh, do I have one? The, no, on your. I neck. always have one. No, this. Oh. Look at that. I have one too. So we look a little red or we're a little tired. We spend a lot of time with toddler cousins. I'm rosy. You're rosy. Right. We spend a lot of time with toddler cousins. <laughs> it was a around. glorious day though. I will take 74 degree days. I actually was feeling pretty hot. It was like... so much fun. That park is uh, amazing. Except for there's this thing that you go around in a circle and then you go down the slide and the ceiling gets shorter. But I didn't know that. And I was chasing a very cute four-year-old cousin and I cracked the top of my head on a pipe. I've been in amusement parks that I've paid a ridiculous amount of Almost money for out. and had less fun at yeah, parks. It was so fun. <laughs> um, anyways, all right. This actually already sold. It was one of the first things Jamie swiped this for $4. And I was actually right by somebody. I didn't catch her name or maybe I just don't remember because I got hit on the head today. Um, by somebody who follows us. And she was right there and she didn't grab it. Someone so. has painted this base gold. We're going to have to touch it up a little bit because it's got some scrapes. Yeah, it's hearth and hand. But I feel like if we just do golden ticket, it'll be perfect. I didn't put that in the listing, but I will make sure that it's um, more even before we ship it. So it's got a plaque so right here. It's hearth and hand. It's from brass. Magnolia. These were like 80 or $90. I don't know what the original price was, but well, originally. Well, we're selling ours after we finish repainting the bottom up for $49.95. $49.95. I love the big cloche on it, too. It's like a big cake plate. It's like a, a, you know how when you make a big, tall, yummy cake and it doesn't quite fit in your cake plate? It doesn't fit in this one, but it would fit in this one. Yeah, but I'm saying that, that one's like an extra couple of inches, so you can have an extra layer of cake. Yeah, when your cake doesn't quite fit in a nine-inch round. 
Sharon says she has a little redness. She watched cattle dog finals all day long. That actually sounds like fun. I love watching dogs work. It's like my favorite thing because those dogs are so happy while they're out there. Their tails like doing helicopters out there while they're chasing cows and sheep. Because you are like a cattle dog. You are only happy when you're working. <laughs> That's true. I love working. Or having fun work. Like how, if it's a like a, a physical activity outside, like at a playground or a park or hiking, that's also fun for you. Yeah, I, it depends on who I'm with. Like, I was really enjoying being at the park with all the cousins, and they're, they're my cousins and their kids. So they're like my age and then their kids, and we go to all these birthday parties. It's so super fun. I just like to lay by the pool, though. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. All right, let's show them the silver servers. Silver servers. This one does not have a, it probably came with like a glass casserole type dish in it. Missing that, the tarnish on this, dare I say, glorious. This is actually not as tarnished. Like somebody polished this part. Someone tried to polish the top, but it goes together really well. Yeah, it's um, and it's got really cute shell feet on it. I'll bring uh, it. Where close. is the park? Uh, oh, also that server's twenty nine ninety five. So if you're from Utah, it's in Highland, and it's currently uh, by Mountain Ridge Junior High. It's called Mountain Ridge Park. Yeah, but on Google, it's called something All Abilities Park. So I don't know. They, it actually it's, doesn't have an official name, but it's right by Mountain Ridge Junior High in crazy. Highland, Utah. It's crazy. Is the large pineapple bought yet? So this know. one was $5. It's going to be twenty nine ninety five. I don't think the large... Oh, yeah, it got bought. We're going to paint it gold. I normally don't put what I'm going to paint in something because I don't know, but this needs to be gold with dark wax. Like... When I saw it, I was like, that's the golden pineapple. How much do you pay for that pineapple? $5. It's giant. So it's after we paint it and dark wax it, it'll be $48.95 because that's going to be a beast. I'm actually, too. I think it's resin, which I'm happy with, but it's like a really thick, good resin. Like heavy duty. Because if this was plaster, it would be crazy to ship it and it may not arrive alive because it'd just be too heavy to hold its own weight up shipping wise. <clears throat> I got in my order of corbels and a rabbit dictionary pick today. When are these items available? I don't know what she means by when are these when items. When are they going to be shipped? Are, these are all available now. They We ship within 10 business days. Our orders get out. We're getting caught up because we had three big releases, the last being Cottage Color. And we're finally, I think getting on top of that because it was insane. Well, you guys bought us out of how our inventory, we were reordering as you were ordering and then we ran out and so we've had to well, wait. Well, DIY paint had such yeah. a huge demand on it that they were taking longer and then our restocks were taking delay. Anyways, So we're thank you up. because that means that we did really, really well and we can get more colors for you. We're excited. All right, so these I believe already sold. Um, they were $3 each. They would have been $5.99 at Savers, but then somebody donated them to DI. I love they're these. They're kind of rustic. They're all separate pieces. Yeah, they're rustic. There's like a few chinks in them or whatever, like where they're not perfect, but they're handmade, stained dark, and we sold them for $39.95 for the set because I feel like they needed to live together. Yeah, they do. They need to be friends. They could also be, if you don't want to use them for shelves, you could just bookend them. I bought the tall black clock. You bought this one. Is this one you bought? She'd like it to be barn red. I will try to remember, but we don't, I have to say we don't take special requests because we have screwed up a time or two, but we'll try to Here, remember. Hold, because we hold, actually, please. It's already purchased. Yeah, because, well, we've been wanting to use barn quilt. So because of that, I will acqui acquiesce your request. Does that mean fill your request? Did I use that word right? Sure. I don't know. You're using words I don't use. Acquiesced. Does that mean like? It's on there. <laughs> Cat, no guarantees it won't fall off though. Yes, Sharon says. Okay, we we've written it down. Now let's hope. All that right. That well, this clock doesn't fall off. Thrifted it. I think it was like three or four bucks. Yeah, the price is gone because it was probably on. And the it's face. gonna go barn quilt, which is our new. We're red. gonna paint it up. It was twenty nine ninety five. It's gone. Um. Gail says we had two big pineapples donated at our store today. Can't wait to see what you paint that one. So it's gonna be gold with dark wax. So I think it's going to be cool. Let's talk about silver. We have a ton of silver. We got silver. And this I think this stainless. was $3.99. The brand is, is Wallace and it's heavy. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't, it doesn't say that it's like $9.25 silver. So it's probably silver plate. Is We're selling for $29.95. No, it's on, it's on the edge. You can't see where that says Wallace with your, no, your eyes. No, there it is. I looked it up. 
But I just think it's a really great serving dish. I'm selling it for $29.95. We like them when they're heavy gauge like this because yeah. they hold up well. Like sometimes silver like this is all misshapen. This is a lot thinner silver. This is um, it's a brand. This is one. flexible enough. I thought the whole thing might have actually Derby been Derby Silver Co. 746. And this one we're selling for $14.95. It's like a little pedestal. And I think these are so cute in bathrooms with like soap on them. Or you can put your jewelry in them. Or a little candle. Or a little candle, like a little beeswax candle. It'd be so cute on this. Okay. Um, and it's $14.95, and I can't remember how much we paid for it because honestly, we I think it was it a buck, few maybe weeks two. Ago, and I forgot to list it. So it's been yeah. But it probably wasn't over $2. Then, Next up, silverware. This is from two weeks ago, thrifting, but we finally got went through it and got it listed. Okay. So this is, you want to show them up close? He'll show that they're all the same pattern, but this is community plate. And this particular pattern is valuable. A lot of people were selling it for quite a bit of money. We're selling it for anywhere from $2 for like a little butter knife to $26.95 for that server. Uh, that serving spoon I saw listed at $80. I thought that was a little much. So we're selling it for $26.95. We paid $0.25 cents a piece for the smaller ones and $0.75, cents, I think, for that serving spoon. Yep. We actually found, and we have a lot. I'm not going to show them all. I don't think we have but, like full sets of anything. But they're all this. Did you show them the pattern on the yeah, back? Yeah, the pattern on the back. They they're all, all have the that. same pattern. And some are more tarnished than others. Some have been polished. Yeah. Some have not. We actually bought two sets of silver the, the day that we got this, and I kept one, and we're eating on it. So that way my kids can grow up saying they had a silver spoon. <laughs> that they eat their, the that they eat their, their, uh, their cheap ice cream on they eat with their fruit loops yeah mm -hmm. okay so next up this is 26.95 for this planter i hate the paint finish on this it looks like somebody took a sharpie marker and went ch -ch -ch -ch. so it's gonna get repainted and Wait, it'll be 20 ch -ch -ch -ch. sounds like a sprinkler can you tell i've been with toddlers all day today i'm like making sound effects <laughs> um it's gonna be 26.95 all right i'm gonna hand that back to you Okay. Uh, next up, we have another silver server. This one was thirteen dollars, right? Yes. In under the glass at DI, and it has a. It's glass. so shiny and polished. I thought it might have been stainless steel, but it's it silver. Heat proof, made in the USA bowl, yeah. and it's Sheffield Silver Company, a Reed and Barton Company, made in the USA. So this is your casserole dish. You cook your stuff or put it in here, and then you keep your silver from getting dirty. If you're going I'm to be fancy. doing some hosting, you're going to need a silver serving dish. And it's $49.95. Or you can take the lid off and put some succulents that in That was it. very, um, <laughs> what's that bouquet lady from Keeping Up Appearances? What's her first name? Uh, lady of the house speaking. I don't know. Oh, anyways. Bouquet. This, this is, is bouquet. bouquet. It's bucket. Okay. This is just a silver plated fruit basket. Um, this one is Leonard's silver plate. And it is sixteen ninety five. I think Jamie got it for a buck or two. I think it was from the DI. I don't like all of these. I'm not going to lie. She passes on these quite often. I bought this one because it's heavy. And it's Leonard, which is a good brand. So not all of these baskets are created equal. This one is good. And all the wire is like in good shape. All right. I'm going to give you like three, four books here. And then we have some purses and bags. And then Jamie's going to show you what's on her end. And I'm going to actually leather polish these bags so you can see how we can bring them back to life right here in front of you. Okay. So this book here, bought it purely for looks. Don't know what it, the contents actually are. So, you know, Paris Mitchell of King's Row, and it is $8.95. It's got a deckled edge and then red on the top here. This one is from 1948. Somebody okay. bought that coach bag oh nice he's gonna that's the one he's gonna polish. this one is also 895 the cat in grandfather's house got this one hundred percent white lettering on the spine and then these green berries the lighter minty on the dark forest green i thought was awesome this one if you're worried about it does have quite a bit of so 1929 and it has a lot of art and it's all yellow. So. Okay, so I, this one's already sold to Mary and oh, I kind of want to wait and just make sure that she does want it because it does have a cool age and patina to it. So I don't know if she wants it polished. 
Is so. she watching right now? I don't know if she's watching, but if she doesn't comment, I feel like we need to email her first. Uh, okay, I'll do the other one then. Unless that one sold too, but I don't think so. Okay, so this is a actual coach bag. I'm going to show you. This was from the bins. The Goodwill the bins, bins came in clutch all this All these week. teenagers go in there to try to buy They're like throwing this clothes, stuff around. They're throwing away legit vintage coach. Vintage. It's got the serial number and everything in there. Like this, I don't know if it'll focus on it. This feels like an old worn-in saddle to me or baseball glove. And you can kind of faintly see it there. The lighting's not working really well with me. It's very faintly stamped coach right here. Yeah, it's cool. All right, I'm not seeing Mary comment yet. So. We'll give her We'll give her a couple more minutes. If she doesn't comment, I'm just gonna wait before we polish it just to make sure she's okay it with it. It needs the polish. Some people like the <clears throat> aged leather. It's a thing. Like my couch is all, it's like that old scratchy leather, even though it's new, but it's made to wear and it's like dark. Anyways, I like it. All right, so this is a Vera Bradley bag. It's not super old, it's a backpack. Oh, Mary says, please polish. All right, you polish. got it. Polish, it's coming up. Um, lots of compartments in here. It's in amazing shape and it has a foam padded compartment back here on the back that opens for sideways for like your laptop or your iPad, whatever you're carrying these days. It does have a slight tear. I'm going to come That's show good. you. It's going to be worth even more. And I'm going to stitch it up. I'm going to stitch it up, but it won't be like the prettiest thing because I'm not the It'll best be sewer. I honestly think it must have got snagged on something because it's almost in brand new condition and almost yeah. everywhere else. Like, so okay. someone like dropped this on a seatbelt buckle in the back seat or something and it snagged it. I don't, I don't know. For and sure, when you're but... wearing it, you won't see it. So but I'm going to, I'm going to pull that back together and clip this frayed edge probably just use black red thread something like that i'm not going to get crazy with it just so that it's sturdy and doesn't rip more and it's 26.95 how much i don't remember already um yeah okay so i'm going to show a few things while zeb do you have your oh, we got to show this other one i do have it but let's show this one too i'll show it close this is a henry and martin's Let this bag put... is worth more than the coach bag it needs a little cleaning up inside it's I'm from gonna... italy I'm gonna do this by hand. Um, this is probably just from being on the leather. Um, I put in the listing that that's gonna get leather polish, so that way if somebody does buy it, then they'll know that we're polishing it. It was listed as like a messenger slash, I think it's because it has this handle. That handle is like thick and it has little, do you see the little heads on there's, the there's, left? There's horse, this is like a horseshoe, and then there's little horse heads. Like know. that's how you know they're like original quality, not reproductions when they're using like actual brass. They, that looks like somebody hand sewed that on, not hand sewed it, but like machine sewed it by hand. There is some wear on the, like the strap a little bit, but overall in pretty good condition. And that again was just hanging out. If I see actual real leather purses, I always pick them up and investigate to see if, because Usually if they're real leather, they're usually worth something. All right, really quick before Jamie starts showing you all the things, because I'm going to get lost in polish this land. Um, I use... The, you can't use iron interfacing under the tear that he's fixing because the tear is not all the way through. So it's this, like just the outer fabric, if that makes sense, because so it's quilted. This is uh, it's for smooth leather. I use it on boots. I've had this for like 20 years and never ran out of it and use it on tons of boots and baseball gloves and other various things. It lasts, it goes a long way, but it's mink oil and you can still get it. So I polishes all my boots. I'm I about out. It's almost Les out. Was on here, but I don't know where she went. Okay. So next up, this was actually the deal of the week. I feel like because this was a dollar and it should have been five or $8. It's like spinny. It's divided. Um, and it's going to be $29.95 and it's got a little bird on the top. And I think this one already sold. Okay. Next up, this is two items. This was just 75 cents for this bucket, but then this greenery was like $3. I don't, I honestly don't know why the thrift store was like, Hey, I'm going to sell this greenery that doesn't have anything going on for three bucks and this wooden bucket, 75 cents, but whatever. I put them together and they're going to be $22.95 together i like the like hand kind of tied look on the bucket like somebody handmade this and it's really cool so the nice thing about this mink oil is it also like weatherproofs your leather 
keeps it from absorbing moisture. Okay, next up, I was actually really surprised when I found this because this is Johnson Brothers from England. It's Devon Cottage and it's a modern um, mug, but I found this mug online for $22.95 used. Um, and then there were big sets of them for hundreds of dollars. Um, I paid a dollar fifty for this mug. I literally just picked it up because it was pretty, and then I flipped it over to see that it was Johnson Brothers, and I'm selling it for fourteen ninety five. I'm gonna see if I can get that really close. That had longer arms than me. <laughs> you don't see the Henry purse listed. It's right here, Henry and Martin's leather bag, and it should be in the thrift finds and flips. I think Caitlin um, linked it above, but if you still can't find it, let us know. So this isn't taking all the age because this is like a blue dyed leather and this is a clear mink oil. It, it's not going to, it has no pigment in it. So if you really wanted to, you could get different dyes in your oils and it'll like, I do black on my black boots. Laura said that she's late because she stepped on a rusty nail and had to go to urgent care. <sighs> that is, clean back. I hate stepping on nails so bad. And then you like limp around for weeks afterwards because it's so tender. So you gotta Hopefully you're doing all right. Tell them the last time you stepped on something and then we went to Disneyland. It was when the pool was getting put in. They there had like wire thing. mesh around for the, uh, I was like chasing, I don't know, I didn't even know what I was chasing out there. He was he was telling us that we needed to be careful and not to get in the pool because they had this wire mesh around it and we were using the pool before we should. And then he's the one that stepped on it and it went through his foot. And then we went to Disneyland and he walked 22,000 steps. I'm like, are you okay? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. That was like <laughs> per day. Yeah, it was a lot of steps. So he, he, anyways, nails suck. I'm sorry, Laura. That's miserable. All right, this is a German plate. It's says Schwartz seat 1794. I'm guessing that's when they were established, but it has an F on the back with a crown. So I don't know what that means. And I'm guessing this is somewhere in Germany, Ingle tot. And it's got like a, I just thought it was cool. It was 75 cents. It actually already has the little Duma hickey. I don't know what you call this on the back. So you can hang it on the wall and it's 995. How the coach purse is actually sold. And Laura says that's rough. You're a trooper. All right. Um, let's see. I missed the price of the one Zeb's polishing. This one was, um, let's see, sorry, $59.95. Yep. So uh -huh. this has quite a bit of wear on it. I saw some listed online close to a hundred. Um, but they were like brand new looking, like no wear or anything. We like the vintage look here. So well, it's definitely older. So I've actually never seen one of these before, and I think it already sold. This is like a personal pan pizza size stone from Pamper Chef. It was $1.50, and we sold it for $12.95. If you have one of those, like, oversized toaster ovens, this would fit in there, which is always fun. Okay. Um... Oh, Yumiko's on here. Hello. The thing on the back is a plate hanger. Thank you, Ellen. Sometimes I cannot find my words. And I speak for a living, so you think I would be able to do that. <laughs> uh, Five dollars we paid for this clock. We're going to paint it, and it'll be twenty nine ninety five. We just love little square mantle clocks. We pick them up pretty much anytime we see them. Uh, Les says she's tired. Me too, friend. Me too. It's been a long Saturday. Lots of sun. Whoa. Hey, Crystal Bell. Sorry, were you gonna say something? No, you're good. Crystal Bell, it's just a really pretty classic shape with a little pointed tip. $12.95. Cody, you're going to get in trouble. So the kids are outside and Rex is still outside and Cody is dying. I'm going to go put him in the room. Yeah, he was in my mom's room. Because he'll just go bark back out there too. Sorry. Okay. I'll be right I'm going to keep going. Next up, this is actually the first item to sell tonight. I found it for a dollar with all the silverware at Desert Industry Swift Store. It's a Spode cake server. I love Spode. We actually carry new Spode in the store. So if you search the word Spode, you can see all of the items that we keep in stock because we are a retailer for them. Um, and we sold this for $14.95. It's beautiful. I just love the classic Spode pattern. Uh, so a lot of people are like, oh, you should go to England to buy Spode. Try to buy Spode in England. English people love Spode and all the antique stores sell it for big bucks. I actually bought one piece of Spode and it was a completely broken platter that we pieced back together and I love it and I kept it for myself. But every other piece of spode we found in England was like super spendy. All right, next up, just a vintage bowl. It's got a couple of little chips in it, nothing like super fantabulous, but it's beautiful. 
simple, $6.95, no maker's mark. Um, and some people don't like china unless it's pristine. I don't care if it has a few chips. It really doesn't bother me. All right, next up, we've got this beautiful little creamer. It almost has like a green tint to it. Maybe it's just why I was looking. I at love it. that little creamer. I don't know why. It's it got, was, like, it was speaking to me. It was $1.50 and we're selling it for $9.95. I think you just like the leaves. And it, also the spout is just like really delicate. I love it that I'm married to a man that's like, that creamer, it spoke to me. <laughs> hey, you know, a lot of things bring back memories from like being at grandma's house or stuff my mom had. You know, it's just, and sometimes I don't even know why I like it. I'm just like, I like that. Hey, I'm not complaining. You're my favorite shopping partner. Okay, next up. We've got this cabbage ware little bowl. It's got a little chip right there. We put that in the listing and it was a dollar and we're selling it for $14.95. Even though I know we're past Easter, I always pick up cabbage ware. I always pick up it's things It's getting with to be like picking up good Christmas stuff. You just, if you got something with bunnies on it, you just grab it. Bunnies and cabbages, like it just sells you around. And in the store, a lot of times, if it's overtly holiday, then we'll save it for that holiday, but we always leave it up online. And I'm telling you, we sell random holiday stuff completely opposite time of the year all the time. So if you guys are resellers, do not overlook it, the holiday. It'll be items. like 1 a.m. on a Thursday, and we'll be like, well, some, and we'll, I'll get like an alert on my phone going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. I'll be like, Somebody well, bought ornaments. well, that was, there goes that Christmas tree or there goes that Santa print. Or, you know. I think when people see what they like, people ask us all the time, why do people shop with you when they know that you've thrifted that item? And the truth is because we have what they want. They really don't care where we get it from. And all resellers buy for less and sell for more. So if anybody's ever going to buy something on the resale market, Chances are that somebody paid a lot less than they're selling it for or else they go out of business. Because I'm over here working up a sweat. <laughs> you get all sweaty with Polishing that leather purse. <laughs> That's just like the way that it works. I just think a lot of resellers don't tell people. In fact, we actually have some resellers that send us mean messages. They're like, uh, stop telling people. You're ruining the market. You're ruining the market. I'm like, well, there's junk for everybody. Mike, everybody's out there thrifting. I don't know if you've been to the thrift stores. They're busy. True <laughs> that. And there is an art to like looking at, especially in the bins, Looking at piles and piles of mostly not good stuff and cherry picking all the best stuff. All right, Franciscan bowl. Last week we found two vegetable serving dishes. I had this one and I forgot to list it. So this one is $9.95 and it was 75 cents. It's stamped on the bottom and it's just the traditional Franciscan ware pattern. It's actually in pretty great shape. No chips that I can see. I don't dare say no chips at all because somebody would get out a magnifying glass and be like, but I don't see any or feel any. All right. We're pretty much done with this purse. Um, I didn't get all the scuffs and things out of it. You probably need some blue dye just because of the wear. That purse, I don't, I wouldn't like, I just love it. That it has, so but cool. it had some really dry spots. And I could keep polishing on this if I let it sit and harden up for a couple days and then came back and really polished it with a dry rag and not a not a waxy one um but it's it's super soft and very well protected now. leslie jackson says she's been thrifting for 60 years it's not a new thing zeb and i have been thrifting like i've thrifted my whole life i was more of a a yard seller there weren't a ton of thrift stores um in the towns i lived in growing up but i will break for a yard sale and i have my whole life and zeb bought all of his clothes in high school from yard sales yep some of them are not so great but you were still cute Okay, mid-century modern pottery. It does, it says 971 on the back. It doesn't say California or USA, but I think it's probably California pottery, just judging by it. Come here. And it does have a chip right here where they like glued it back. So I would probably ask like $40 for it, but because of that, it's $21.95. I just love the shape. It's really unique. Not something you see all the time. And the colors are really pretty, just the soft pink and the cream. And it actually pairs, if you have the Franciscan wear, Look at these together. Like, that's a really good match. Okay, how are you doing on the leather polish? I'm almost done. I just wanted to do this one. This one is actually in better shape as far as wear goes, but it has some scratches. Looks like someone opening this top fingernail scraped it, and this is going to get rid of all of that. So somebody just bought that bag. Let's see who bought it. Um, John purchased that bag. Woot, woot. Okay. Um... Sorry, I'm going to get back to what I was doing here. Also, remind me, I need to reorder Spode travel mugs because we're completely <laughs> sold out of one. 
Well, I mentioned it and somebody went shopping. Okay, I have been a reseller since the 80s. I learned the best from my late mom. My mom is a really good shopper. We, she didn't do a lot of secondhand shopping when I was growing up, but she was a Mervyn's clearance shopper. All right, next up, we've got this crystal bowl. It's kind of got like a floral pattern I, on it. That's another one. I just thought that was fun. It's it's like cut on the top around like the seashell. Yeah, it's really pretty around the scallops. Yeah, and it's, it's sixteen ninety five. This is kind of a lower end crystal bowl. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, and then this is a high end. So we've got um, Waterford. This was $3. Three in under the glass. We're selling for $39.95, which, oops, can you fix the camera? Yep. Which is about uh, $15, $20 less than what I was seeing the lowest priced online. But I try to price my crystal um, less because we carry quite a bit of it and it sells well for us. Like we still have some Waterford crystal goblets. Some of them were selling for 60 to 80 and I'm selling them for like 14 to 20, but they're all like individual, not sets. And we, we sell quite a bit. Some people tell me that they, crystal doesn't do well for them, but I really feel like crystal, silver, brass, all very classic things that especially when they're staged well, make kind of your booth space or your store look a little bit higher end. All right, so this is a crystal um, clock and you can put your photos in it. So you put your little grandbabies or your puppies. I actually <laughs> thought this would be really great with just like some little pastoral mini prints that you could print out and put in here. Um, and this one is $22.95 and it was $3. It's crystal clear. All right, next up we've got two lamps. They already sold. How you doing over there? I think originally, <laughs> I'm just running the show while you're polishing. I think originally they would have had, um, what are those little crystals hanging from Oh, it? yeah, they would have. Uh, I just think they're beautiful. Brass, they were $3.99 each, and we sold the set for $69.95. These were actually a really good deal at Goodwill. <clears throat> Can you share how you fixed up the coach bag from the bins? So Zeb it just Same. used mink oil exactly the way he's working on this leather bag. I get the Kiwi Outdoor Mink Oil for all colors, meaning it doesn't have any pigments or You've dyes. You've had that for all of our married life. Yep. I told and you, like 20-something years. Probably used that rag on everything, too. Actually, I remember when I picked that up. I was right. in Connecticut, and my boots kept getting soaked through because the water was seeping oh, yeah? up through like where the stitching was, was on the soles, and I put this on my boots for when I was out proselyting. I think that you love polishing leather because if I'm wearing leather boots and they're scuffed, he's like, hey, you want me to polish those for you? I don't know. It's like therapeutic for him. I love leather. This it's, is It's a great material. This is a nice, heavy candlestick. And to, it looks like pewter to me, but it wasn't marked, so I just put metal. We paid a dollar for it, and I think it was, I think we sold it for $12 or $14.95. I'll wait till Caitlin drops the link because... I don't know where the tag went for this. Maybe this was that tag that was like attached to you and we couldn't figure it out. Oh, no, I think that's like $16.95 or somewhere in there. I don't know. I'm almost done, guys. $12.95 for this one. Leslie says, you're right. The classics never go out of style. Nope, they don't. And it's now there's this new trend. It's like called upper crusty or like whatever, like high-end bougie, like decor, dress, all the things. So all those people are literally, people come into my store and they're looking, they're like, they want to see the crystal, they want to see the copper, they want to see the brass, the silver, the artwork, the antiques we bring from Europe. And they're not buying tons, but they're looking for like really special pieces. So like, well, like one or two pieces and then they're going to do like, a, they're, they're going to go thrifting themselves and do a vignette around like one Awesome Something piece. they really love, yeah. So this was 75 cents for this rabbit. I'm selling for $12.95. I'm not painting it. I probably will clean it up. It's a little dirty, but I just thought this was really sweet. Bunnies are like the new sheep. Although I would buy every sheep I could ever find. Sheep are really hard to find in decor. I don't know why. All right, so this was $1.99 at Goodwill. It's got like this silver base and then a milk glass bowl. And it's $14.95. And you, if you hold it up to the light, it really is the milk glass where you can like, it's kind of translucent in between these scallops. It's not like the solid milk glass. I don't know if it was glued to something originally or maybe just had like a like a piece of velvet on the bottom. I think that's probably what it was. Okay. If you're going to use a cow, might as well use it all. Yes. that's Zeb loves leather for all the things. Also, I don't like waste and stuff, so you're exactly right. He also likes hamburgers. 
Okay, uh, let me see. All right, so I don't know if you saw before, I don't even know if I saw this, but there were like scratches, big ones, right here and here, probably from someone flipping up the tab or whatever. And they are now gone. And it is very soft and pliable. That looks beautiful. Not that I'm shocked, but. It wasn't yeah, bad, it a, wasn't bad before. Limp, this is just a lint-free rag, right? So that's an old handkerchief that I've had <laughs> since I was on my mission. And I've used it for black and I've used it for clear and I've just never washed it once. It's like an oiled cloth now. It's in his official bag. This is a Ziploc bag he's had for over 22 years too. Don't worry, there's a toothbrush in there in case he really needs a scrub. That's for cleaning dirt out of the cracks of the stitching. <laughs> We're real fancy. Like they don't even make that style Ziploc bag. Like that's literally a vintage bag. It's not for sale. <laughs> All right, Japanese sugar dish missing the lid. I'm gonna put a little like plant in there. I actually have been propagating plants. We have some plants in the store, but I literally just put this in water and it now has roots. So I have like two or three of these. One has like a ivy, like a small ivy. Anyways, one of them is getting planted in here and it was a dollar and once I plant That's it- That's included it'll be in our plant resale license. Yes, we have a plant resale license. Check your state. I didn't know you had to have a plant resale license, but apparently you do. But we got one. It was, was only like, it was only like twenty two dollars for a whole year. <laughs> I think they just wanted my and twenty two dollars. And that covers us unless we sell Did more. Did you have than, to take a course to become licensed? I just had to tell them what all we were selling and where we were sourcing it from. Um, but that license will cover us until we sell over two hundred thousand dollars worth of plants. I think that's going to be a minute. I think we're going to be fine for years. Another bunny. <laughs> I've actually never found one before that's a brown bag cookie art. It was $2 and I'm selling it for $9.95. Isn't that cute? Cody. I love all the cookie art molds. People use them for cookies, but also some people put like paper clay in them and do crafting. Someone let Cody out. So let's hope that nothing like a leaf. You're not answering my question art. on the live chat. So that means I'm watching the video, LOL. Blanca, I don't know. But if we ever miss it because I'm talking to the camera and not reading comments, email info at jamierayvintage.com. And if Caitlin doesn't know the answer, she'll get with us and we will always answer you Are back. Are you all done with your whole pile over there? Did you show mm -hmm. them this sugar dish? I'm gonna let you talk for a minute. Okay, I got it. This one I didn't do yet. This is from the Goodwill. It was $2.99. I'm gonna come show you close. We're gonna scrub it up. It'll be $18.95 when we're done. But it's got this really fun rooster. It's just a sugar dish. I mean, you can put whatever spices you want in there. It's both sides. I like that the ring, or there's like a green ring around the lip here. Let's see. Focus. Here we are. And this tray, believe it or not, thrifted in the wilds, just sitting on a shelf. Maple. This is maple dovetailed, dovetailed ends. It was a display tray for probably some sort of paint or product. I'm not sure what that it brand is. It needs a is. good scrub. And we're going to paint the outside and leave the inside natural maple. Yep. Um, this will be $89.95. This is coming off. I'm not leaving this plaque. I feel here. like the wood alone would be ninety dollars these days for maple. Oh, maybe expensive. not quite that much, but a lot. Like um, it's it's a fifty dollar box and supplies. I'm gonna let Zeb do some like talking about all the stuff over there. I'm like out of words here today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just you just had to talk while I was polishing. Rachel says I can't wait to pick up the chicken sugar dish. Oh, that's the one we just chicken we just one? did, or the bird one. With the succulent? I don't think it has chicken on it. It's burnt. Yeah. All right. Blanca, the, Reader's so, Digest. Hold on just a second. Sorry. Oh, Blanca, sorry. the items are already listed on the website. So if you want them, you just go to jamierayvintage.com or click the links that Caitlin is linking, and that will take you to the website, and that's how you claim an item. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's no auction or first or... Yeah. Anything like that, it bills you securely through the website. You can PayPal or use your credit card or however you want to do it. Yeah, we have <laughs> 1,100 people on here, so it gets a little crazy. So sometimes things kind of fly by. I think I forgot to talk about this. Love the design on this. We only buy the Reader's Digest that we love these days. This one's nine ninety five. I like the ribbon look on that. It reminds me of DNA. DNA. <laughs> I love like those purchases. Friend. Which one is best? I don't know. Both the purses are really good. We lucked out this week. Okay. Next up, we have this antique clock. It is missing. I'm going to be very careful with it. It wasn't missing the glass, but I dropped it. Okay. And it is missing, it is the, missing glass the glass now. 
um, but it's got the original face, all the beautiful woodwork. The back has been replaced this and it has modern is, mechanisms yes. in it. It's a modern clock. Um, Which means it's going to work for you. So it would be like 500 to 1,000. We're selling for 89.95. Let me we show don't you the part. It because it has so much original goodness to it. Let me show you the part that like made me buy it. Let's see if I can not drop it. Okay, so that's not it. I'm trying to hold it and not show you still. So that is on the back end of this Isn't small cool? window down below. <clears throat> and I'm actually happy that they put a modern mechanism in there. So the face is the same, and then they probably put different hands and things, which is why it's not worth $200, because we found some very similar to this that were in that Oh, range. I saw some 500 uh, oh, 800 really? like Yeah. Okay, so I don't know exactly how old this violin is. I couldn't really find an expert. Um, if this is how old I think it is, like 17 to early 1800s. If it was in pristine condition, it could be worth thousands of dollars. It is not in pristine condition. Um, it has damage to it, but it would be a great display piece. It is a glass violin. Someone um, was actually hanging it on the wall. It had like a piece of like that gum stuff that you can sticky stuff on the wall with and a wire here where it looks like they had like a little nail or something that hung this on the wall, even broken. And we found this at the bin, so it probably was a few dollars by weight. It has the original case with the lock, um, and it's $199.95. So somebody said it might still be able to be restored. I'm not an area of expertise, and I can't imagine that that would be cheap. I'm not. So. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I don't. I don't see any reason why someone. I just Zeb wanted to paint it and decoupage it, and I was like. If that's really from the 1700s or early 1800s, I'm just going to leave it. I just it's, can't. It says, you, you can see where it's been worn and used. Someone's loved it and handled it quite a bit. Cindy, um, we are not replacing the glass. Um, if we were to replace the glass, that would probably cost, I don't know, to have custom round glass cut would probably be $20 or $30. And that's why we're oh, selling more it for $89.95. Yeah, that, maybe that, even more. That piece would probably be like 50 bucks to get glass for that. Because they got to cut it round. Oh, did you Would it be sacrilegious to plant in that violin? Listen, Leah, if you pay $199, you can plant whatever you want in it. I, I just, just I didn't want to paint it just because I think it's so cool. Like the, the We don't have the key it. for the case. It did have a key originally, so it was valuable enough that someone locked it away. Yeah. If you're painting the divided tray, what are you gonna use? Michelle, I'm not sure. So I wouldn't if you're not sure that you want to buy it because you're not sure about the color, I wouldn't buy it until we paint it. Um, because I don't know. Depends till when we get to next week, I start painting stuff. I divide it up. I get in a mood and I just paint that mood. All right. We have, oh, my clock, my watch died. We got about 15 minutes here. I do have a stack of books, but I'm going to breeze through them. And we also have some really cool, like old ephemera. Oh, and we have quilts. Yep. The quilt. That's why we're, that's why I'm going to hurry. We got quilts over there. Just we got waiting. a stack. And we got a really cute wool coat that already sold. So Shel Silverstein, Runny Babbitt. This is actually not old. It's from 2005. It was He was writing it before he passed away, and he had it pretty much all the way done, and his family um, found it and published it for him. Um, at least that's the story I found. Uh, Runny Babbitt, uh, 1695 on that one. This one is a book of old hymns. It's called Favorite Hymns. It's 2495. Someone... It's embossed here, or yeah, someone has taken a pen because it's probably been used as a hymnal in a church. Yeah, I'll just put this up here. Some so small child got a hold of it. Um, this is a hundred percent like you can use this for singing or music if you play an instrument. Uh, probably this is for a piano or an organ. Um, but I would use these for ephemera pages, to be honest. Heidi. Jamie and her pigtails the other day. It was perf the perfect find. I had pigtails and we found Heidi and I looked like that. This Heidi. is the children's classics, Heidi, 2895. This is uh, embossed there. And then the spine. It's actually in really good shape. A couple wrinkles on there. But this version here is from 1924. Um, but just great condition on this book here. All right. So we have Facebook share winners. Oh, go do so it. So if you share on Facebook, we choose two people at random every week. We have Donna Halcombe, H-A-L-C-O-M-B, and Lori Cowell. So if that's you and you share it on Facebook, email info at jamierayvintage.com, and we'll send you something free and fun in the mail. Okay. 
This is A Glorious Harvest. It is a recipe book. Um, lots of basic kind of like old school homegrown type recipes. Um, I mean, look at those biscuits that they got there. I'm hungry just looking at them. Do not look at them because I'm tired. I'm not making you biscuits. What? Tomorrow, maybe. I lost the tag on this one. Maybe this is the one that was... twenty four ninety five. Yeah, that's the tag I was missing, 24 All right, so this is still wrapped in its cellophane. I'm not going to take it out and show you all the pictures. It's a brand new book. Found it at the bin. Um, it's going to be eighteen ninety five. All the things, favorite family... Uh, I like our the family favorite recipes on the back. Yep, it's cool. And this is on top of the plastic here, so that would come off. Um, that one's eighteen ninety five. Jamie picked up this one at the bins, America's Regional Quilting. I thought y'all love quilts so much, you might enjoy a book it's, about quilting. It's got it's a got bunch patterns. of stuff on how to like cut them, the sizing. You know, there's full courses you can pay for out there on the internet. I have a friend that takes them, and he's done some of this work, and he's paid hundreds of dollars to do what's in this book. All right, next up we have the fossil book. This one is $22.95. It's got pictures of fossils in it, so lots of great ephemera there. That We pick up a lot of books sometimes for what's in it. If you're a librarian, close your ears, but sometimes people like to take them apart and use them for art. Next up we have the sewing book, Better Homes and Gardens. We sell a lot of Better Homes and Gardens cookbooks, so we thought it'd be fun to sell the equivalent, which is in sewing. We found a lot of quilting and sewing things. Yeah, these are all from the bins. And then we also have Better Homes and Gardens Complete Guide to Gardening, which is oh, $14.95. Loving the gardening books right now, especially, but just great stuff inside. So we've got two Etude Music magazines, one from 1925 and one from 1945. This one actually went to Shirley Waterman in Idaho. <laughs> uh, it used to come in the mail. They're $8.95 each. They've got amazing ephemera, like such great stuff inside of them. We also have some music. So we have I Walk Today, Today Where Jesus Walked. It's $8.95. I'm going to keep Zeb moving along here. I'm just showing them. They have, they have like advertisements and things. <laughs> and then there's this I Heard a Forest Praying for $12.95. This is a... Uh, this one was selling for more online. That's organ music there. This is Barbara Kay's First Division Band Method. It's got all her music in here. I think I used that when I was a kid. And then we have Lando Lakes Country Recipes. Very like 1980s. It's got like the really cool blue with flowers. $14.95. Anything country recipes has got to be good. Zeb picked up the World Atlas. It does not have the CD-ROM, but it does have a gorgeous It's not old, book. but I was like, oh my goodness, I love this atlas. Let Zeb me flip through it real maps. quick for you. It's $19.95 for the World Atlas. Now, all these books we purchased at the bins and paid by the pound, so they were a buck or two a piece. These are like high-res, pretty good images on here. Descriptions and things. Great for a coffee table. Comes with its case. Um, so Leslie says, the gar that gardening book taught me how to garden in the early 80s. And Yumiko says, great teamwork. I'm keeping Zeb moving along here. <laughs> It's getting towards the end of the Story night. time was going to John long. Martin's big book. These are sold individually at $8.95 each. Um, and we have a few volumes in there. These are fun. And we've I got think tons of art just like every page. We've gotten now through all the books. So we've got also this. Now this is going to get fixed by Zeb. Yeah. Repainted. We want to leave the insets the way that they are, but I think it would be cuter if it was navy and white. So it'll get repainted um, and sturdied up, and it will be $69.95 when we do so. It's All right. Perfect for your beachy cottage. We're ready to do um, quilts and All right. Come on sheets, around here. Afghans. I'm just going to stay here to make sure that the camera is okay. Oh, I can see it up here. It'll go black. Oh, okay. Spin around. Rex is on the floor. Look at him. He's had a hard day of puppying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my baby doggy. Uh, my nephew Ben's on here, Zeb, and he says that you're strong enough to hold the world like Atlas. Oh, that's my baby cousin Ben. Baby cousin, that's or your nephew, baby nephew. Baby, baby nephew Ben. Oh, somebody specific. Somebody just bought your Atlas. You just sold that. I like the man of white you are. Listen, if you were just gonna take it apart, it's like so cheap for some amazing art you could put in frames. All right, let's get... Let the Afghan Palooza begin. I can't see comments. So, Caitlin, if anything crazy happens, I have uh, our text thread open. All right, this one's sold, I believe. It's $29.95. $29 
And I thought this almost looked like roses in the middle. When I like I was the scallop edge. You know me. I'm going to buy anything with scallops. Um, we've got a flat sheet with a matching pillowcase. Where's the matching pillowcase goes up? Um, it's probably folded up in it or there somewhere. It's around. All right. This has a matching pillowcase. I don't oh, sorry. know what's up did with it. Did you just touch my bum on camera? I mean, maybe. <laughs> I like this because of I've the got edge. a license. See that? It's like the details. They you don't buy sheets now, and they put a little scalloped edge on the detail. This is what my mom would call percal. It was like her favorite kind of sheet. It's like it's not too soft, not too stiff, but a little bit stiff. It's like a proper sheet. Anyways, it's a beautiful pattern. So I think it would be a really good quilt if you didn't want to use this sheet. And it does have a matching pillowcase somewhere. Where where's the price on this one? It's probably on the pillowcase I can't find. I oh. think it's like $22.95 for that and the know. pillowcase. Sorry, I know we're giving you prices, but that one fell off. Zeb. Uh, so th there's a cute story that goes with this apron. We were thrifting and this gal grabbed it, but then she set it down and I was like, Are, do you not want that? She's like, no, I'm going to get it. But then she changed her mind and she came over and handed it to me. This is yeah, actually a vintage. I don't know how you would do that otherwise. This is like a vintage maid's apron. And the reason I know that is because it has a tag in the back. It's for a much so shorter show, show me person the apron. than I am. Yeah, well, look it's at made that. for a smaller person. Pockets. It's not made for a 2XL. I just love the yellow checker. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> how about, what's the price on that one? Um, oh, I don't know. I had a tag on it somewhere. That's it. I'm going over here to check prices, and you can show them the next quilt. It was on here. I think I pulled it off to show it off good. Okay, the sheet is $22.95 for the sheet and the pillowcase. And then I haven't seen the apron is not coming up. So yet. this pillowcase is embroidered. It's super wrinkly. I got a terrible picture of it. It's nine ninety five. But it's I cute. am going to iron it. Oh, the checkered vintage apron is twenty four ninety five. Was a uniform apron. Zeb looked them up. They're collectible. So this is going to get ironed up and less wrinkly. We don't iron everything, but I feel like this deserves it because look at it not ironed. Let me see if I can pull up. Comments. This is this one's nine ninety five. This. Oops. There we go. You look good in yellow gingham. <laughs> That's what Carolyn says. <laughs> the pillowcases on the coffee table. There's actually like a billion pillowcases on the top. Yeah, table. I got a bunch. A this is a like Zeb said this was yellow and lavender. This is like mustard and lavender and it has little rosettes. It's a homemade yellow apron. mustard. It's got a, a Zeb wore this at the thrift store. It's a deep plunging V, he said. Um, and this apron is $18.95. I can't try this on. I can, but I have lost some weight, but I'm not a small yet. This is a woman's small for sure. We it's are going to steam it. This is $89.95. I need to steam it still. It got, we did wash it in like the wool light. It's it's 80% uh, wool and 20%, I think, polyester or nylon. I think the 20% is on the liner. Yeah. My daughter tried it on and it fit perfectly. All the buttons are there. It's in super good condition. We actually saw some of these, this particular brand of wool coat going for like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. So we sold it for, how much did we sell that one for? It's $89.95. $89.95. I don't and know if Caitlin's pleated dropped on the, the back link. too. For that one, but that one already sold. It's pleated on the it's back. It's beautiful. But we're going to, we have a professional steamer. So yeah, I'm going to steam it up. I don't want to iron it. I think that would damage it, but I think the steam will be fine. Okay. Um, next up, let's do this one. Leslie bought this quilt. This one's really oh, cool. Oh, this Afghan's awesome. All right. Stripes I've on never one seen side. This pattern before. I didn't even know what to call this pattern. I actually thought it was black. That's like a really dark, uh, foresty green. Okay. So it's not two sided. They just did so there's stripes on this side. They no. just did a like, it's, it's not double thickness, but it's double patterned. So they did this on this side, like just on the top, but it's stripes on both sides. Like they did this design afterwards, if that makes sense. I love it. Oh, you're, you're hiding. Let's make a fort. Okay. Next up. Oh, Anna said she had a coat like that in the seventies. I love, I don't buy a ton of clothing, but when I find good vintage co clothing or quality leather, we actually found a really nice men's leather coat that Zeb said retails for about 300 and it fits Zeb perfectly. So he's keeping that one. 
If you saw us thrifted at the bins and all right, while she's unfolding that duvet, look at this. <laughs> Did you photograph this wrong side out? I might have. No wonder you didn't think it was chenille. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Looks like I did. That picture is probably horrible. No wonder nobody bought it. I mean, it doesn't look like a whole lot. This looks like a white duvet. It's color. chenille. And that's probably why I didn't know it was chenille. And then you kept <laughs> telling me it's not chenille. And I was like, no, it's chenille. I'm like, it's not coming up chenille for me. Okay, king size chenille duvet cover. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's actual chenille, friends. I will redo that photograph on Monday if it doesn't sell before then. It'll probably sell Sorry now. for the, the not great photo. I, that's funny because you kept telling me, you're like, I don't think it's Chanel. I'm like, so I think the cream and the brown on here is fantastic. Um, this one is, I, I, I labeled it as like a lap afghan size, but you can see it's like covering me up. Um, $22.95 on this one. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to re-photograph that one. Okay, Whoops. it is $99.95 for the king size chenille duvet cover. It doesn't look like chenille in the picture, but I promise you that it is. Okay. <laughs> um, Sally said that's great. Thanks. I think oh, we almost didn't get this one, but then Zeb's like, get it. And then he brought it home, and I'm like, it is good brown like neutrals. Okay. okay. This one is, I think it's hand stitched, but it's not homemade. It's Rachel Ashwell, but it's her brand before Shabby Chic. This is, yeah, Rachel Ashwell, $9.95 on this one. This is more like a, it's a pillowcase, but it's more, uh, it's like pieced together. Whereas these are just like all one piece printed. These are $6.95. I'm going to rapid fire them I for found, you. I dug through the bins for these. They're all like random pink and purple and yellow florals. Imako says that's why they watch the live video so they can see what things actually look like in case that photographs them wrong side out. <laughs> so I think this is a set of two on these ones that I'm holding up right now. I think they're $12.95 for the set. Oh yeah, those, I actually found a set. I'm always excited. It is not easy to find sets of stuff at the bins. Like it's- It's not easy to find anything at the bins. You gotta, you gotta work. Yeah, lest you think it's This not one work. has a ruffly edge. That's also in the description. That's how I roughly it, edge. Is that what you put it? And ruffled edge. Or oh, ruffled edge. I didn't put ruffly. That's just for funsies. But lots of fun florals. I like the the periwinkle colored edge on there. Okay, so if this you, is Matt Lassay, which is probably what you thought that one was. Here, flip this around the right way. This is like on like embossed. Well, it's got. Is it? I think this is queen size. They like poke it. I don't know how to say it. The, this is what I think he thought that Chanel one was, but you see the texture on that? It's so got like a star pretty, pattern on it. It smells good. Well, yeah, you washed it. I know. I did a lot of laundry this week. How are we All doing right. on time? We're doing fine. We got it's like a minute. <laughs> In Texas, the licenses for plants is $110 for her shop. She has separate licenses for her booths, and they come and inspect your plants. Maybe it's because you're next to the border. Maybe. Like I know that like borders, they're like more particular. This is a hand, like a homemade, but not hand sewn. It's like machine quilted quilt. It's twin size. Also, it's, it just depends on the legislation of your state. Some states yeah. are ridiculous. Varying shades of like mint and periwinkle blue. It does have and, like one little stain that didn't come out when we were washing it. I forgot to take a picture of that. That's actually, that's not, I think if I oxy clean that, I can get that out. You gonna spot bad. clean it again? Yeah. It's here just in case. It's on the back side. Essentially, Kimberly, it's okay if your typing's not good. Neither is mine. How do you know when Jamie has actually done the post on social media, something is misspelled or completely the wrong? Or word. autocorrect took over and she didn't <laughs> catch it. <laughs> I have she... a lot of family members that screenshot stuff. They're like, Jamie, you have hundreds of thousands of followers. Could you fix this? Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> All right. So this one has a fun story that I will take the time to tell. Um, someone had this just draped over their cart and I noticed that he was just getting clothes. And a lot of times people just grab a random blanket and they cover their cart with it so that people don't really see what's inside or cherry pick off the top of their cart while they're out grabbing stuff at the bins. Anyway, this is a pieced quilt. It does have some tears and rips. Um, and we priced it accordingly. It's all vintage fabric, all of it. And like, it's, it has all, been, some uh, polyester. it has been tied, but the top is, is, uh, hand, I don't know if it's, it's machine done looks like. 
Yeah, but they they have put all these little like varying. I don't know if it's old clothes or just leftover scraps, but it's but, such a beautiful. But quilt. I saw it sitting there. I walked by it like six times, and finally the guy was back at his car. I'm like, "Hey, are you really buying that? Or are you just using that to cover your car?" He's like, "I'm just using it to cover my car." I'm like, "Do you mind if I take it?" He's like, "No, take it." I'm like, "I'll go find you another blanket." He's like, "No, nah, don't sweat it. I'm checking it out." <laughs> we meet the nice. Some there are some people that are not super nice at the bins but for the most part people are really nice because what happens like is a, they go to check out and they just throw this blanket yeah, back on there them. if they're like clothes resellers but it's kind of a tight-knit reseller community and you kind of see the same people and so you kind of build relationships but look what i found when i was moving all the afghans here's the matching pillowcase that goes to that sheet and i think the reason why my mom loves like these vintage percale type sheets is because this has probably been washed like a billion times and you can't tell like it's just where what's the phrase it wears like iron and i also love this because look at the polka dots can you guys see that i know there's the softest little tone on tone polka dots on this sheet and pillowcase all right afghans okay we got a couple more Afghans and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, that quilt was $59.95 and on. it has sold. Zeb's going to fix the camera real quick. We'll show you. We have like four more Afghans and there's actually a really cool one on top. This is two sided and so it's really warm. And it's huge. It's a lot of yarn. Like you could probably put this on a twin size bed or full. Maybe, I don't yeah, know. This is full probably size. a full. This is big. All right, let's do, do a little so dance. $38.95. Okay, you go, you go that way. I think it's $38. It's on this green one. on one side. Blue on the other. Can they see it? I can't see what they yeah, can see. Yeah, I think they can see it. Thirty-eight ninety-five. It's huge. Okay, next up we've got this one is actually pretty big. Like someone watched like a whole season of reruns of I Love Lucy doing this. Yeah, Zeb put that there was green in this. It's blue and like uh, coral oh, and white or it's pink. It's like a super light blue. It looks great. And it's got me. a scalloped edge. In the afternoon sunlight, it was pulling green. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell the difference between Zeb and I? He neatly folds them, and I'm like, that's how we are at the bins, too. 22. I don't fold them at the bins. All right, Lap Afghan, $22.95. It's got some great purples, kind of some heather, cream color, gray. But you could also use this for a small child or your lap. Yumiko says that um, she bought that one. Did you buy the two sided one? Because that one's really good. And they're all talking about shifts. Shifts sheets and cynthia says i like crackly stiff sheets and renee says the softer the sheets the more they wear out fast i believe that i actually have had sheets with holes in them okay this one is the last quilt of the evening afghan afghan this one's 20 in australia they call them quilts somebody's really? like we don't call them afghans this one's a little fuzzy but it's big look at all the colors it's 29.95 on this one but we priced it accordingly for the fuzz and for the fun. And all right, fun. guys. That's it. That's, all, that's all the thrifting this week that we did. And it was a lot of fun. And it's 9.33 and we started three minutes late. So like almost Ooh. exactly an hour. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you guys want to buy anything, it's at JanuaryVintage.com. Click Thrift Flip, Thrift Finds. We also have a ton of other really cool stuff on the website. And then um, if you have questions, be sure to email us. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY and thrifting. We'll see you guys on the next episode. All right bye now, you got to run around and go. I got to run. You got to run and turn it off. Okay. Bye, Have guys. a great evening, guys. Nighty night. Ooh, 1,100, over 1,100 people watching. Thanks for tuning in.